Hey, greetings YouTube. Performance reviews where I give the review from the technician's point of view. And today we have the Bissell Big Green machine. Now this is a machine that I have used a lot. I've repaired them. I've recommended them, but I don't have a video on it. So today we're going to make that oh. video. We're going to unbox this. I'm going to show you what you get with this machine, what it is, and then we're going to shampoo some carpet. We're also in this video going to do a sound test, talk about repairability, and do a real deep dive into this. So you're going to want to stay tuned to the end of this video so that you have all the information that you need. This comes in a pretty colorful box with all sorts of advertising as if they wanted this to be in a box store. I've never actually seen one of these for sale in a box store. And they even have a lavish claim saying, it outcleans the leading rental carpet cleaner. And they have a rug doctor with no logos. The ironic part to that is Bissell actually owns most of the shares of rug doctor and technically like owns rug doctor even though they are separate companies. Now, to get even crazier, this is not made by Bissell Home. This is made by Bissell Commercial or Edmar or Perfect. They have a lot of names of this company, but this is essentially made by a company that makes commercial cleaning stuff and Bissell slaps their name on it so that, you know, they have it. So this is really the only Bissell shampooer that I would recommend. I do not recommend any of their home cleaning shampoos right now. Most of those are trash. So this is a different product made by a different company in a different factory, uh, despite having the same name. Go ahead and unbox this beast. Before I get started, I will have a link down below that benefits the channel. If you wish to help the channel out, check out those links. Uh, I am not being paid or endorsed by Bissell in any sort of way. In fact, they have no idea I have it. I want to thank a friend of mine, Ryan, who lent me this for review. All right, right away we are greeted with, please don't return to the store, register your product. And under that we have the manual. This is a registration card and the manual, holy shit. The manual is 15 pages long. It is a short little manual. So I guess they expect you just to understand how this works. Now, right over way, we're greeted with the model and serial number on the unit. And, oh, we also have a hose in here. Hose is nice and long. It's at least 10 feet long. Um, the hose comes with a nice extractor, kind of a mushy feeling button. And you see kind of how this is gonna go on the machine. All right, that's everything that came in the box. I wanna note that the accessories for this uh, probably could in be interchanged with the home machine. So if you wanna put like a crevice or a more narrow upholstery tool on there, you could. Comes a hose, an upholstery tool, the cleaner, manual, three bottles of trash. For the love of God, do not use this shampoo. It is horrible, it's bad for your carpet. It's not approved by the Carpet and Rug Institute. Run just about anything else through this. Now, I wanna show the bottom of this off. This is one of the few carpet cleaners that's supposed to accommodate for higher pile carpet. You have a spring-loaded nozzle, a free-floating brush roller, and a set of these heavy-duty wheels. There is the brush roller. You can see this is comes down, and if you need to clean this or change this, you can. This is a lifetime belt. I wouldn't expect to actually have to do something with this. That just goes in there. It's just really well built. It's exhausted into the bottom like just about everybody else. And if this is a Hoover, they would call that heated. Let's get into controls. There's not very much going on here. You have an on off switch right here. And then you have your trigger to release solution right there. I guess the other thing I want you to be aware of is how the handle works. So you have a fold right here. And then we have a release right here. And you're going to pull this machine back. Pushing forward really doesn't clean. You want to pull it back as you do it. And again, you're going to do one direction. Then you're going to turn around and do the other direction as you clean the room. Now, there is a flow indicator right here. And the real purpose of this is just to let you know when the solution has run out. 
If you wish to use the accessories, let me uh, show you how that works. You open this door. It's clearly marked where we're doing this. Um, give it a quarter of a turn. Same sort of thing with the accessories. You give it a quarter of a turn. And now our hose is good to go. As far as the tanks are concerned, this is the dirty water tank, which comes apart. It's nice, so if you need to get clean the float valve, you can leave this and let it air out. So if you live someplace humid, hopefully that won't grow any mold. Next is the solution tank, which again, lifts out very nicely. A nice wide cap. And the purpose of this air hose is to let air as you, it empties, but this also allows you to take it and go fill it. One of my criticisms with rug doctors and a lot of the commercial machines is you can't remove the solution tank. You have to fill it in the machine, which means you then have to get like a bucket or something. This allows you just to go fill it and it's in the corner so you can fit this in a residential sink. Now I want to take a moment to tell you about what we're shampooing with. We're going to use the unique brand carpet shampoo. I'm a real big fan of this. I'm also a big fan of Lind House and quite a few others. I recommend you go on the Carpet and Rug Institute and see what their list is and what their recommendations are and see what you can find locally. Now, if you're new to carpet shampooing, you then know that this is the point where you should go vacuum thoroughly. You want to vacuum X and Y in terms of directions, if that makes sense to you. Uh, and vacuum every area twice. And then we're gonna pre-treat again with Unique. Uh, and this is great for pet stains, food, anything biological, this is my go-to. Now, somebody complained in my last review that they couldn't see the dust and the dirt in the carpet. So I have the exposure turned down and it is a rainy day out. So hopefully you can see, uh, we do have a stain and some wear in this carpet. We're going to go ahead and see how the Bissell Big Green goes. Let's find out how much suction this thing has. Remember, sealed suction is more important for this particular application. I want you to keep in mind that we are a mile above sea level, and a lot of the motors that would be rated higher are not. I would be willing to bet at sea level this gets close to 80 sealed. Here, a mile high, it only gets 60, and that's because of the motor choice. So, not as strong as something like my carpet extractor C4 or some of the other units I've tested before, but definitely stronger than say a home Bissell that usually gets 30 or 40 inches at this altitude. All right, I have switched to the studio microphone so you're gonna hear the real sound of the machine as I'm running it to give you just kind of an idea what this thing sounds like. reason carpet cleaners rarely have sound deadening and they rarely if ever have any exhaust filter so this machine is pretty damn loud you're probably going to want a set of earplugs if you plan on doing a lot of work with this machine the other thing i want to note is when you put the handle in the upright position it does stop the brush roller take a moment to talk about the handling characteristics. Because the handle is down low, you don't really feel it in your wrist, but you do feel that you are moving this big heavy machine. Now, another thing I want to mention, I didn't notice until I started using it, but these tanks are translucent, which means that I can just look down and know how much solution I have left. That is a big advantage over a rug doctor. That's a big advantage over some of the other style of machines. Now, just out of curiosity. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's pulling up way more stuff than the last machine I used on this carpet. Um, so I'm satisfied with that so far. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of this and I'll report back to you afterwards.
Well, what are my final thoughts on the Bissell Big Green Extractor? I think it does a fantastic job. I think the price of this thing, at least right now, is far less than a lot of other extractors like this, and the value is there, especially if they continue offering that five-year warranty. Parts are widely available. The downside is you don't really see these things on sale. I will have a link in the description that benefits the channel, and hopefully you can find a good deal on one in that link. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you. If you have one of these, I'd love to hear from you. Definitely comment below and have yourself a fantastic day.